Investing in taxing certificates on properties is extremely lucrative. But with any investment strategy out there, in particular this, with there's, there's things that you need to know. There's pitfalls you have to be aware of. We're going to cover both the ups and the downs of investing in tax lien certificates in this segment. While offering huge rewards investing in tax lien certificates, like any investment out there, whether you're a seasoned investor or just getting started, there are things that you have to watch out for. We're gonna cover all of those here. Stay around to the very end, and I'll show you how to avoid all the pitfalls to make sure you're making the right decision. Tax lien certificates are a lucrative investment opportunity. Let's just go with the basics. What are tax lien certificates? When somebody fails to pay their property taxes on a property over one year period of time, the county, in all 50 states, including Guam, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, has the opportunity to go to the public and offer those up. Actually, it's written in statutes in every single um, state in the United States. Now, everybody has different versions of this, but basically what they're saying is this. A property must be delinquent at least one year on property taxes before the county can take any action. So once they do take action, whether that comes in the form of a tax lien or a tax deed, the county can offer those up to the public. In fact, they're required to. Okay, So they say, hey, we need this money. What does the county need the money for? You've got roads, bridges, fire department. Number one thing that they need it for is education. Probably 55 to 65 percent of property taxes goes towards paying for schools and what have you. So the county says, hey, listen, they haven't paid this off. We need this money to run our county. We are not the federal government. We can't print money. We can't do that stuff. So they're offering it up to the public. Okay, now the public, that's you and me, has an opportunity to come in there and put the money up on those delinquent taxes. Now, the states will offer an interest rate on it, anywhere from 8% on the low side up to as, as high as 36 on the high side, and we can get into that in other videos. I want to talk about the pros and the cons here. So th there's the pro. So the, the underlying security is the property. So when you're buying a tax lien certificate on a property, the county will have a redemption period or a grace period, if you will. In other words, they'll say, hey, you haven't paid the property taxes. Somebody has been invested in the property tax lien on this property. You now have one year, two year. So basically what the county is buying the property owner time, okay? In that place, now remember, you are not dealing with the property owner. In fact, the county will do about 90% of the work for you. The property owner still owes the money to the county, okay? In most cases, they don't even know this takes place. So I'm not really doing anything to the property owner. They've already got a lien on it. All I'm doing is giving the money to the county so they can continue to operate at an optimal pace. Now, what happens is this, when I buy the tax lien certificate, I don't have to maintain the property, I don't have to do anything, okay? What happens when the property owner comes in in that prescribed amount of time? It can be anywhere from four months on the low side to about three years on the high side. If the property owner comes in during that time period, it's pretty simple. I get a check in the mail from the county for my initial investment plus whatever that standard interest rate is. And let's just call it 18% for this example. I get 18% of my money. It doesn't matter what happens to the stock market, the bond market, the foreign market. Now, here's the beautiful thing. The value of the underlying real estate that the lien is on is what makes this such an incredible opportunity. Not just the interest rate being 16, 18, 25, even 36%. It's the real estate. So if I'm buying a lien for, let's say, $2,000 on a $200,000 property, and they fail to pay that property taxes, within that prescribed amount of time. And let's just call that, oh, I don't know, two years, okay? I have the opportunity to go to the county and say, hey, I'm the lien holder of record. I would like to go and execute my legal right to foreclose on the property. Now, what I'm doing there is I'm literally taking the county spot, okay? So in other words, all liens and encumbrances are junior to a tax lien certificate. That would include a mortgage, and that would include, yes, the IRS. Now, that doesn't mean I automatically wipe it out. It goes into a whole foreclosure process. I've got to notify everybody or, or the attorney that does it. And it goes through a regular foreclosure process. But I want to make no mistake about this. There is no ambiguity or gray area. If somebody fails to pay their property taxes, you duly notify everybody, and nobody protects their position, you will end up with that property free and clear of all liens and encumbrances 
for just the back taxes and any costs and encumbrances that are um, uh, fees that you've incurred up to that point. That's the pros. The cons are, well, you got to know what you're buying a lien on. Okay, I can't just buy a lien because there is a lien available. For instance, what if I bought a lien on a property that was, say, I don't know, four feet wide and 100 yards long? I've seen them. What if I bought a lien on a property that was in an undesirable area? In other words, nobody would want the property if I got it anyways. What if there was environmental issues, hazards, anything like that? So the research process to buying a tax lien certificate is extensive. You just don't go down there and put the money up. And so unlike traditional real estate investing, there is a gamut of things that you have to be careful with. First of all, I can't just go knocking on the door and say, hey, I'm thinking about buying a tax lien on this property. Can I look around? Unlike a, let's say, foreclosed property where you actually can do some inspections and what have you, that's not going to happen here. Okay, you're buying a tax lien on a piece of property. That has people say, well, if I'm only buying a tax lien for $2,000 and it's a $200,000 property, what do I have to lose? Is it really a $200,000 property? That's the other thing I got to look at. Are my values in line? Is it a desirable neighborhood? These are the things that you want to look at because at the end of the day, when you go to foreclose, you end up with the property, period, end of story. And it better be a property that you want. Just to make sure there is no gray area in this, when you're buying a tax lien certificate, one of two things and only one of two things can happen. You either get redeemed, so you get your money back plus a substantial interest rate. In this case scenario, we use 18%. Or you get the property back and you own it free and clear of all liens and encumbrances, including a mortgage or the IRS or any, anybody else on there. Okay, period, end of story. There is no ambiguity. Now, people say, well, how can you go ahead of a, ta of a mortgage or, or, or even the IRS? Again, I'm going to go back to what I talked about before. There's always a tax lien on all properties. Okay, you just don't see it until you don't pay it. And then when you don't pay it, the county takes a superior position to everybody. I mean, think about it. The county is the one that's controlling the title. If you don't pay the property taxes on the property, the county says, I don't care what you all did before or when you got here until somebody satisfies this, everything else is junior. So let's say that I had a tax lien on a property and I wanted to sell the property. Okay, it's no big deal. I could sell the property. It would just have to be cleared in title uh, before I closed on the deal. So in other words, when it goes into escrow, say, hey, there's taxes owed on this property, we'll just take it out of escrow. So that's paid first, and then a clean title is sent over to the new buyer. So there's all sorts of gamuts there that you have to look at, but be careful. Just going out and buying tax lien certificates to get your feet wet is one of the biggest mistakes I see new and beginning and inexperienced investors make all the time. All I gotta do is buy a lien. I get 18%. Not true. Yes, you will get 18% on a worthless piece of property that nobody wants or will redeem on. Okay, so there's hundreds of thousands of tax liens every single year. Not all of them are good. Make sure you do the research and follow the links down below. Now, there are a lot of pitfalls that you need to look out for. If you want more information on this and you want some actual help on this, just go to HigginsMethod.com. Fill out the information on there, and I'll have one of my coaches call you up and walk you through the whole process. This is Sean Higgins saying good luck and God bless.